Welcome to the show that'll keep you from falling behind during the week. With your hostesses with no ghostesses, Jackie and Belinda here for the Friday Catch-Up on the Paraclast Radio Network. Thirty-seven, I think. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jackie. Hello. Oh, guess what? What? We have a visitor in the country. <gasps> Who is it? It's President Obama, and he's only here for twenty-eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me that said that. <laughs> No, it was breaking news yesterday as Air Force One came into Canberra Airport and we watched it when it was just a little dot on the horizon. And then we watched it right down to when Obama's like hopping out of the plane and shaking Quinton Bryce's hand 78 times. I kid you not. Wow. And then he moved on to, you know, Julie Gillard, who is the Prime Minister of Australia. And then he went and, you know pressed the flesh and all that type of stuff with other people and then he went back to his hotel in The Beast. The Beast. Mm, yes, The Beast was flown in, I think it was day before last, which is like, I think it's a five ton Cadillac limousine. <laughs> and apparently a service station provider, you know, not too far from the airport got a phone call and they said there's going to be a whole bunch of vehicles pull up in a minute and you're going to give them some fuel aren't you and like uh yeah and so the cavalcade pulls up and there's like hummers and suvs and these two huge cadillac things and they filled up with fuel it's like wow breaking news they're having a very slow news day in australia aren't they well, maybe. I don't know, but this is like the biggest thing that's happened to us in about four weeks since the Queen left. Because, <laughs> you know, the Queen was here and she got a big Australian welcome in Brisbane. Someone mooned her. <gasps> that's all? Really? Would I figured, you know, with all you Australians, it'd be like... The warm Australian welcome would be a bunch of middle fingers. No, no, no. It was nice and patriotic. He had a flag between his butt cheeks. Oh, that that's lovely. <laughs> Just a nice touch. Yes, we're still waiting to find out how we're going to properly welcome President Obama. Yes, apparently he doesn't like Vegemite, which makes breakfast just a little bit difficult. So, you know, because most real Australian people have Vegemite on toast for breakfast. That's it. So, yeah. But well, he, you know, the good news is he isn't walking around trying to find his ancestral home. No, he's riding around a five-ton limousine with the oxygen tanks in the back. Apparently the doors weigh about as much as an aircraft door. Um, wow. You know, airtight, bulletproof, bombproof... And then there was the revelation that apparently Air Force One has like some sort of force field that uh, reflects radiation. Hmm. I'm like, okay, I think someone's been reading books just a little too much because I don't know whether they can do that one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, there are ways to reflect radiation. I mean one type of radiation it only needs something as thick as a piece of paper so I guess like if you hold up a piece of paper <gasps> we're Air Force One maybe maybe it's like coated in like paper <laughs> that's not very bulletproof but <laughs> alright <laughs> I don't know maybe it's a paper airplane ha <laughs> ha so <laughs> yes apparently they dined on lamb and dewfish 
and pavlova for dinner last night. You know, you know what's really sad? The fact that that made the news. <laughs> that and the fact that you know more about what my president is doing than I do. <laughs> well, I don't know. You see, there's supposed to be all this world press over here with him, but, you know, eh? Huh? Uh, apparently I mean, they're not doing a very good job. Maybe the internet connection is really crap here or something. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, all I have to say is, this all sounds a little extreme, doesn't it? Well, just a little bit. I mean, the most extreme and the most bizarre thing I posted on my Facebook, I think it was the day before last, which would be the day before the day before last, today, but anyway, um, President Obama was given crocodile insurance just in case he stepped a little bit close to a crocodile. <laughs> Do you know how much <coughs> Michelle Obama would have got if he had been snapped up by, you know, the crocodile? She would have definitely bought, she would have turned that, out, that crocodile into a pair of shoes. And a handbag and a belt, because they get pretty big here. No, she would have got fifty thousand dollars. That's it. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, it is in Australian dollars. They probably would have got like fifty thousand two hundred dollars, maybe, because the Australian dollar is better than the American at the moment. So, don't but, know. I mean, that's just that's not much, really. I mean, if you think about it. That's not even enough to, like, you know, paint the White House. <coughs> what the hell is she going to do with $50,000? Stare at it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, hit one paycheck is m worth more than that, so... I don't know, but I'm sitting there... Okay, he's in the country for 28 hours. He's spending probably a little bit over two hours in Darwin, which is, like, crocodile capital of Australia... I don't really think the Secret Service is going to blink for that long. No. No. I mean, I guess maybe they could all take a uh, a sneeze about the same time, but... Mm. Well, one of the reporters actually asked one of the Secret Service how he got into the Secret Service. Oh, God. Do you want to know how you get into the Secret Service? Sure. You apply for the job. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I swear, it's like the entire of Australia has just gone totally bonkers and, you know, it's like, America, America, we love America. Oh, my God. Yeah, and then America leaves and they're all like, stupid Americans. <laughs> we are. <laughs> well, there are then there's of us that are sitting there scratching our head going, stupid Americans, while they're still in the country. <laughs> but I'm not a stupid American. No, you're an adopted Australian, darling. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> Loophole. <laughs> I was switched at birth. You were. Okay. I am. I am an Australian because I watched Bathurst. You did. You did. Well. What is this thing doing? It's playing up. Fun and games. So yes, you didn't watch the whole thing. So you may be half and half. <laughs> but I don't watch NASCAR. <laughs> well, you know. Well, actually, I take that back. I do. But only if it's, like, in the room. And it's not for the sake of pleasure. It's for the sake of making fun of everyone else that's watching it. Exactly. Which is fine by me, because I do the same thing when they put it on TV here. Yeah. Mm. He's making a left turn! Yeah, watch out for that left-hand turn. It's a doozy. Yeah. Oh, and that other one, too. Oh, and the other... You know what? Just watch out. <laughs> Okay, so you have a rant today? Well, actually, no, I have more of an experience. Eee. Yes. Well, seeing as how we are uh, on a uh, <clears throat> paranormal radio network. Sort of, <clears throat> yeah. It it might be nice to every once in a while have a uh, paranormal thing. <laughs> every once in a while, yeah. But uh, anyway, so... Uh, for those of you that don't know, which I'm going to assume you know, I'm going to assume you're not you know, so old because of your birthday that you've forgotten this already. <clears throat> Bite me. 